Hey guys, it's Hannah, and today I am back again with another Books A Million haul. This is the seventh Books A Million haul, and it's long awaited. It's been months since I've gone to Books A Million, since the coronavirus broke out, and I feel bad for not making a video since then, so I'm hoping that this video will make it up for you guys. So I have three books to show you all today, and I'm really excited to show them off, because I think you guys will really like this. So. Let's begin with the first book, which I'm excited to own, but a little scared. I'll tell you about it in just a second. The first book that I'm showing you guys is Pet Cemetery by Stephen King. I can't believe I have this book. I did not think I was going to get this book, but now I've got it. Yes. I'm a Stephen King fan. I love, I just love his books. And like, these are the only horror novels I will read. I will not read anything else. Stephen King is the master of horror. And he is the only author I will read when it comes to scary books. And Pet Cemetery is considered to be the scariest book. I, I was deciding on whether to buy this or by Cujo and I wanted to buy this one because I'm just not ready to read Cujo yet but let me know in the comments if I should read it because I'm kind of curious but a little scared but anyway here's the front the side and the back with a picture of Stephen King so um basically what this book is about it's about this family that moves to Maine from Chicago and they live right next to this highway with a bunch of speeding trucks and plus they live right next to a cemetery and this cemetery is best known for burying dead animals and um as you can see you know there's a cat on the front and uh the cemetery turns out to be haunted and a lot of crazy things happen but yeah This is a big book. Well, I wouldn't say it's big, but I don't know. I'll we'll have to find out when I read this, but yeah. Pet Cemetery. All right, the next book we have here is Conceal Don't Feel by Jen Colatina. This is another Disney Twisted Tale book. And I think that this is the seventh book in the series because I also have Mirror Mirror, but now I've got this one. And it says on the front, what if Anna and Elsa never knew each other? Now this one really interests me. Interests me. So anyway, here's the front, the side, and of course the back. Now I'm going to read and tell you guys what it's about. As the future queen of Arendelle, Princess Elsa leads a life full of expectations and responsibilities, not to mention questions. What type of ruler will she be? When will she have to pick a suitor? And why has she always harbored the feeling that some critical piece of her life is missing? Following the unexpected death of her parents, Elsa is forced to answer those questions sooner than she'd hoped, becoming the sole ruler of her kingdom and growing lonelier than ever. But when mysterious powers begin to reveal themselves, Elsa starts to remember fragments of her childhood that seem to have been erased, fragments that include a familiar looking girl. Determined to fill the void she has always felt, Elsa must take a harrowing journey across her icy kingdom to undo a terrible curse and find the missing princess of Arendelle. I'm really excited for this one. Like at first it didn't really interest me, but when I read about it, I, I knew I had to get this, so. Conceal, don't feel. And the next one is another Disney twisted tale, and it's called Part of Your World by Liz Braswell. And I think that this is the fifth book. I don't know. Uh, I, I haven't really read online, but now this time it says, what if Ariel had never defeated Ursula? Now, I've seen reviews of this book, well, spoiler-free um, reviews, 
and uh, I heard that this is one of the best Twisted Tale books, but I look forward to reading it. So here's the front, the side, and of course the back. Now I'm going to read and tell you guys what it's about. It's been five years since the infamous Sea Witch defeated the Little Mermaid and took King Triton's life in the process. Ariel is now the voiceless queen of Atlantica, while Ursula runs Prince Eric Kingdom on land. But when Ariel discovers that her father might still be alive, she finds herself returning to a world and a prince she never imagined she would see again. Ariel soon learns that Ursula has been making the most of her role as princess, plotting, scheming, and waging a strite war with neighboring kingdoms. And after the disguised sea witch catches the wind of Ariel's resurfacing, she threatens to obliterate both land and sea. Will Ariel be able to overthrow the murderous villain bent on destroying her home, along with a world she once belonged to be a part of? Following this tale of power, love, and a mermaid's quest to reclaim her voice. So, I'm excited for this one. I'm excited for Conceal, Don't Feel. Let me know what other good Twisted Tale Disney books are out there. But anyway, so that is my entire books a million haul. I'm really excited to check out these books. As soon as I get Clash of Kings done, I might read one of these books. I might read Pet Cemetery. I'm not so sure. But I was thinking about finishing off the Song of Ice and Fire series before I started regular books, but now I, I think I should take a break from the Song of Ice and Fire and focus on different books. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like and comment and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.